Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions. This is the makeup look I created. It is not the best. Definitely some flops, um, but definitely some good grabs that I recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a like and comment down below. Follow me on all my socials. They are linked down below as well. Subscribe to my channel and continue to watch to see how I created this look. So we are just going to start um, most of these products are very inexpensive. They're like drugstore or like random brands. So I have the Models Prefer Primer in Rose Gold. So it's got like a pink reflex to it. And for foundation, I have the Maybelline Superstate Better Skin. I don't, this, I don't think this is new. Um, I just have not used this. This is in the shade 30 Sand. I'm just gonna do half sponge, half brush. It's more on the thicker side. Um, I think it's like a light to medium coverage. Definitely like evened out my skin. Using the brush, it makes it look like it's just sitting on top of the skin. Whereas this side, it literally looks like it's sunk in, blended in with the skin nicer. I think that's because it's such a thicker, not that much thicker, but just a thicker formula. It is a bit light. Um, I feel really, I don't know, I feel really washed out. So I have cream pot. So I do have cream products. Um, this is from Models Own. This is the Sculpt and Glow Contour Sticks. This is called Sundown Number One. I don't think I like this because of the shade first of all, and now it's stuck in the lid. Okay, I'm just gonna use it from this side of the lid. That's the shade because that shade looks really scary <laughs> with a brush. Like I definitely have better products and it's really orangey so it's not really a contour, it's just more of a bronzer shade. I'm gonna try put it directly but I don't think that is the smartest idea. See, just because of how long this takes, I wouldn't reach for it. I hate, I don't really like how my skin, my skin looks. So for cream blush, I have this sleek palette. Um, it's blushed by three palettes. They are all cream finishes. That is the shade. I'm just gonna try a bit of the middle shade. This is called Surf. I don't know, I'm scared. I guess that's not. I don't know. I think it's the base. I like that. I'm just, I also have the Sculpt and Glow Highlighter Stick. This is in Moonlight number two. This is what it's supposed to look like. So you get a pretty decent amount of product. That is the shade. It's not the most pigmented thing, but I guess you could build it up. So yeah, that looks nice. So I'm going to look um it's my face overall looks okay you can't really see the primer black underneath everything the highlight is pretty good for a natural sort of finish concealer i have the la girl pro conceal this is in the shade creamy beige which looks really dark blended out it looks pretty good that actually did a pretty good job <laughs> gosh that did a pretty Damn good job. It didn't brighten, but that's like the shade. I'm going to lightly set my face. This is the CoverGirl. This is in the shade 110 Translucent Light. I'm just gonna dust really lightly because my face is already kind of matte. I just look so dry. I do have very dry skin, so overall the primer is like a cute sort of thing, but it didn't really like function as like the highlighter thing. I guess if you used a lighter coverage foundation or like a BB cream. I do like the concealer. It doesn't crease on me. Not really a fan of the stick contour, but the highlighter one is not that bad. Foundation, good coverage, not the best color in real life. Models own eyeshadow primer. This is in the shade number one matte. I've collected all these things over the past couple of months just to get a full face. I actually haven't heard anyone talk about the products that I'm using. I don't know if it's old, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to paint this all over my eye. It has some sort of color to it, but it's not like full coverage sort of thing. So it helps even out the surface, but if your eyelids need extra coverage, I don't think this will cover everything. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Eyeshadow, this is very random, but I was in Cotton On and it's like that mega store. So it had like Ruby and Typo and all that. And they were selling some beauty products. This is called Natural Beauty Pink Eyeshadow Palette. And it, looks it says at the back that it's $15. 
look i don't think this is worth 15 dollars. that's even though the pan is huge i went to dfo cotton on and they had like boxes of skincare and hair care makeup and pick five for ten dollars so basically these were two dollars so yeah they're just natural shades I mean, $2, they aren't the most pigmented thing. I also have this one called, called, uh-huh, uh uh-huh, honey, a bronze eyeshadow palette. So these shades are more promising, I feel like. I'm just gonna use this shade. So the matte shade looks like it has a bit of glitter. I mean, they blend fine. It's just not pigmented. It's just like whatever. The darker shade now. Like it's definitely not the worst thing I've tried. I'm just going to take this dark shade and just pack it at the, in the outer corner. I just make up like this. Um, I feel like random stores try to create makeup like this and spray and i just don't think they should that they should they should just stick with accessories and clothing and stuff they definitely overprice it there's no point going to a clothing store to buy makeup better off just going to priceline or just a makeup store <laughs> so next i have the revlon photo ready eye art sort of thing so i'm just going to use this shade to kind of cut my crease and then i might add the shimmer shade. Two sides. This has got a doe foot applicator. Oh, this is in the shade. Number 19, Burnished Bling. I got another one, but I'm not going to use this. This is in the shade 110 Steel Spark. So I guess it's like a top coat glitter thing. Alright, that's what it looks like. It's good alone, but I'm just gonna add some of this on top just to like set it. I might add the glitter in the middle. I don't know. So it's turned out like that. I think I recommend these, but not the eyeshadow palettes because there's so much that's better and more pigmented and less boring. So I'm just gonna do eyelashes and mascara. This is the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash. It's a brush, it's pretty thin and like really short bristles. This type of brush hurts when you get it in your tight line. As good as mascara can get. If it doesn't smudge, then that's a winner for me. Okay, so mascara is not pretty good. It's just whatever, nothing's blowing me away in this full face of new products but update on the glitter it's kind of separated i can see my eyelid and i have not touched it i think it when it when it gets stuck like because i have hooded eyelids um if it gets stuck then it just peels off the glitter but it doesn't look that bad now for lashes i'm going to try something different this is the eyelid texture lash um they look very natural so yeah, this is what it looks like um that is the difference it's cute not my favorite it's very sh it's very short that's like missing a piece right there, which is not my fault, but okay, not the best lashes. Let's move on. Now I'm going to, um, I'm just gonna apply some blush. This is the, this is the Ruby Total Sweetheart Four Color Blush Palette. This is more promising. Like I really like, I really like the look of this because of like the mute tones. So yeah, they're nice. Huh? So I'm just gonna use just a mixture. Really nice. Like and blush, which never was a thing. Now for highlight, I have the Models Prefer Hollow Glow Powder Highlighter Palette. This is absolutely beautiful. See, that is so nice. And then I'm going to try the middle one. Oh my god. This is so nice. I have another face product. This is the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. To find me, so I like that smells normal doesn't really have a scent i don't really have anything new on the lips but i'm just going to use the color pop lippy sticks i don't even use these at all so i might try the parker this is a matte <gasps> that is foul it's got like this oil residue i'm not using that do you see the difference when i just swatched it such a nice shade. Oh, no. Nah. Okay, I'm gonna use this. This is called Sure Thing. It's a cream finish. It's so pigmented. So easy to use. And I think that is it. So overall, my favorite things were the highlighter palette and the blush palettes. I think I like the eye base. It could be the eye base that separates it. So that's like a, a thing you have to incorporate in your own with your favorite products to know if it's the problem or not. So I hope this gives you a good indication of what kind of worked and what kind of didn't. Very medium 
mediocre like first impressions but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video